Okay, I'm here today with the Urban Sketches of Stoke-on-Trent and I'm in Burslem in Stoke-on-Trent. This is going to be an interesting one and I hope the uh, traffic that's passing me by isn't going to interfere too much with the audio on this little video. Um, also, it's a little bit breezy, so two things. I hope one thing we don't blow over and, and we also don't get too much noise on the microphone. What you can see in front of you is the only bit that's left, as far as I can see, standing of the Royal Dalton factory in Burslem, since Royal Dalton upped and moved abroad a few years ago. In fact, actually that's one of the things that this painting is all about, in a way, because if I'm moving closer here to my canvas and if we can get a, a view of it, let's, let's try and... that's better. If you can see what I've got here, there we go. I know it's uh, the light's changing on it a little bit, but you can see here it's all already drawn out, which is unusual for me coming out to plan air painting like this. But the fact of the matter is that I actually drew this picture onto this canvas 11 years ago, back in 2007. And if you look to the right of the uh, building on my canvas, the old factory, the disused factory, was still there. And so I've got a decision to make, because I've decided to come here today and finish it off. And so I've got to decide whether I still keep that part of the old factory in my painting, because to be honest, it's far more interesting than what's there now. Also, if you look over there on the factory wall, there is a sort of falling apart blank sheet on the wall. Whereas my drawing actually shows what it says. And it said, closing down sale. So I'm very, very tempted to keep that in the painting. Even though it's not there now, it's sort of poignant as far as I'm concerned. So. I shall keep that in. Everything else is pretty much the same as it was 11 years ago, which in a way I suppose is sad in itself. Um, but let's see what I can do with it anyway. I'll catch you up in a little while when I've uh, done a little bit more. Okay, I'm set up and ready to go, but I thought before I started I'd give you a little look at the palette because I know quite a lot of you artists out there like to uh, know what uh, paint I'm using and what colours I'm using. We've got white, yellow ochre, sap green, scarlet lake, burnt sienna, burnt umber, cerulean blue, French ultramarine and a little dab of Payne's grey there at the end. Right, I've, uh, I think I've just done as much as I can do on this one. There it is. It's uh, 11 years since it was drawn out. Um, and, you know, I'm quite happy with it. Maybe I'll touch it up a little bit when I get home. I tend to like to do that. But for the moment, I've got to go and shift the car because the three hours that I paid for for parking is just about to run out. There's the... Uh, the building again and there's the painting. 